Porsche, yeah, we looking like giants. Trends set a high fashion, we stylish. Talking pressure on the we apply. Not talking playgrounds when I say that we slide. Yeah, that's why it's a hot topic right now. That's why we finna talk about it. And I'ma start with you. And the answer is no. <laughs> and I'ma start with you. <laughs> the answer is no. Should a man be able to expect submission from his woman if they split their cost of living 50-50? Absolutely not. Why do you think so? And I'm only saying this from personal experience. Okay. So, check it out. Prior to me moving here, mm -hmm. I, my ex came and lived with me. And I did it as, you know, trying to be a good girlfriend. His mom got him evicted out of his apartment. My bills are $3,000 a month. He paid $475. Well, I worked for the government, so when I fell and I got injured, I shattered my ankle. I couldn't work for a long time. Mm -hmm. And because it was a workman's comp case, of course, I got to investigate before they start paying. So I didn't get paid. Right. So as a man, what is your thought process? You think that even you don't even have to be a man. Like, even as a woman, if where you lack, I picked up the slack, right? Right. No, he didn't do that. He even when I got a second job and it was like, oh, I'm trying to pay off some debt. Okay, but what about me well, we and our household? Know. Right. Like, where if this is my house, but if I invite you in as my mate, like, I expect a man to be a leader. I expect a man to be a provider, whether mm -hmm. I got it or not. Like, but where I left, you're supposed to, supposed to pick up the slack. Right. And vice versa, because when you fell down, I picked you up. But when I fell down, I feel like you walked all over me. So to think that I'm going to be this submissive woman when you didn't pick me up when I fell. <laughs> So, are you applying what happened in this one scenario to your train of thought going forward? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, because I feel like, okay, if you're not the provider, what makes you the alpha of this relationship? Right. If you're, okay. not, if you're, if you're not the provider, why are you, and you're not the head of the household, we're playing 50-50, why am I submissive? Uh -huh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What am I submissive to? Tony disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. Let me tell you something. The relationship is more than just money. Right. If I see somebody going 50-50, all that means is that's what works best for them financially. Okay. Y'all may only make enough to where it takes, if we being realistic about society that we live in today, it takes two people to struggle. Right. When, when our parents were growing up and our grandparents were growing up, it took two people to make make shit happen. Mm -hmm. Two people you build comfortably in a two parent household. In today's time it takes two people just to struggle. The uh, that has skewed her opinion on me going fifty fifty in general because of that one situation. Yeah. Whereas you may have a man who splits bills with his with his woman just because that's what works for them financially mm -hmm. and that's what helps them get to the end goal quicker, whatever that end goal may be that they've set. But he's a stand up guy. He takes care of her, he nurtures her, he loves her the way she needs to be loved, he helps out with the kids. You know what I'm saying? All of that stuff, mm -hmm. how how can you then say, Oh, I ain't fucking with that because he don't pay the majority of the bills. Right. Or because we paying the bills half and half. Now I will all say all the, that other stuff though. On the if he's doing all that, that's different on fifty fifty. I don't mind going fifty fifty because I live here too. Mm -hmm. However, I'm just saying you can't be the head of the household and expect me to submit and Yes, yes, baby, I agree with, you know, everything so that you're... So you not going to submit to him if he's doing all of that other stuff? No, no, a a absolutely. That's what I'm saying, but he, what, that example that I hold gave on, you, on, he on, did on. not do all of that other stuff. He, right. Like I said, when I fell down, he let me down. Right. And that's why I said, with that being said, if he picked me up and we split in the bills, like... Wait, 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 let's get into it. Baby, let's because submit. Because when I say submit, y'all two differ on opinion about how y'all should move on something. Which one of y'all gets the final decision? That's what I mean when I say submit. The person that submits to the other person's final decision, that's what I'm talking about. So I mean, I'm, I'm gonna assume that the guy that I just explained, who is still the leader of that household while splitting the bills 50-50 with his wife, would get that final say. Right. Because I trust him to make the best decision for our family. I didn't say, He's a millionaire, and therefore he gets to make the decision for our family. Right. I trust his decision making enough to you allow him. It's not. It's more than about. It's the, more than about the money. So I'm, he uh, may not be a millionaire, but he's a great leader. He ain't never put us in harm's way. He ain't never led us in the darkness. Why not? I'm a, uh, to that? So, so 
what I'm getting from both of y'all, I'm not even sure you all the way disagree. You seem like, to me, it seems like your opinion is you based personal. off of a, a personal experience. No, and, and you're right. I don't completely disagree. It's what he just said. I do agree with. Right. Like, when it's all said and done, relationships in general, you be, you definitely have to agree to disagree. Well, and, and, and I think ultimately it comes down, the biggest point that's here is the one he made... Um, when he said that it, it all depends on what works for them. Works because for I've been with my wife for close to 12 years. And when I first met her, we was probably going 50-50 for a while. No, when I first met her, I was making less than her. So I'm sure she was paying more than me. But then um, at that point, I was, what, 20 years old? You know what I mean? And uh, later on, you know, um, I started making more. And eventually, I started covering more of more of you know our cost of living when it and came. But there came a time, world. there came a time when I was in between, when I didn't have a career or nothing, mm -hmm. and I had just started bartending because I needed more money, right. and I couldn't get into a bar that was gonna make more money. She paid, and she paid the bills. Going, up, I was unemployed for almost six months up until that point, and then after that point, since I was entry level. I couldn't, I wasn't making that much money. So almost a year, I remember, and I'll never forget it because, you know, um, it was one of them situations where a woman that I'm still trying to figure out if this is right for me, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'll never forget that level of loyalty when I was down and I didn't have it, that she didn't make me feel like I was less of a man because of it, you know what I mean? And women and, don't notice that that's the most important shit. Yeah, I, I think a lot of times women underestimate their power to motivate and inspire us to be better and to, to do things. Fact. And um, I, I would equate it to a superpower in most cases because I just believe a lot of women don't understand that they have the power of persuasion to a level that we don't have on them. When I tell my to girl that all the time. I can go so much further just because I'm inspired by her. Yeah. Like being with her make me want to be like, all right, I need to do the extra step. Or I want to do the extra um, Like I probably would feel that way for myself. Mm -hmm. But knowing that she going to reap the benefits of, of my labor, mm -hmm. it make me want to put a little bit more labor into it. And I agree, like when you're in a relationship in general, like you're supposed to be inspired by your mate. Like I've been with... A man that made way more money and that inspired me and that was like they didn't inspire me oh he makes his money let me go spend all his money no it inspired me to get out of my own i've always yeah. been the woman that i take great pride in every shit that i make like because mm -hmm. I, I can say i got it on my own but to add on to what you said like i i knew i wasn't submissive and i did not submit and you're right a woman can lift a man up in several mm -hmm. ways but i feel like i didn't do that just for the simple fact that I'm loyal to you till you till you show me otherwise. And I feel like you had so many. He was a he didn't have children, so he was great with my children, mm -hmm. and I respected him for that. And you didn't contribute as much to our household in the beginning, and I was okay. It's with a lot that. of boxes we got. I, I was okay. I was okay. With, I was okay with that. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I I did it, you know, because I'm I'm loyal to you, and I'm trying to help you out. So I was okay with you on the bed for I just said, but now I feel like it was but at the same, yeah. And I just felt like it wasn't it wasn't just all about money. Mm -hmm. I was just using that as an example because mm -hmm. of what happened. To me, but money can like, be I, important when you ain't. Uh, yeah, when you hurt. Meeting, no, when you're not meeting all these other standards. The money become important too. Like, damn, you ain't loving me right. That's free. Well, damn, you I'm not gonna lie. You ain't taking care of me right. But then, free. but then, he, and you ain't paying. But as, as I'm looking and listening, y'all, he said to me like, um, "You're not uplifting me as a man." And it's like, how? Like, his his thing was okay. She got the credit. Let me try to go in debt, try, go in even more debt. To, like, let me use my whole paycheck to try to pay off this credit card that I have. And I'm not like, baby, this took time, and I'm trying to, you know educate him on financial liter literacy and he's like well i want to do it because basically like because you're doing i went and got a brand new car when i graduated college the first time he oh i want to go get a new car but baby you can't afford this so it's like you know i'm definitely trying to inspire you but at the same time don't try to do it just because i'm doing it because if i was with you for the money then i wouldn't be with you in, in general because you can't do what i do right so he's like, oh you're all about money i said no i'm not all about money i'm all about financial stability and right. when you are doing these like irresponsible, irresponsible things. things with your money and I'm not asking you to do that. I'm not asking you to be where I am because this took time. Like well, and, and you know what? I think it's fair too. If you were expecting him to step up when y'all started struggling, I think it's fair to expect that from your man. 
Um, I, it almost, I think it's fair to even sure. demand that from your man, but I think it should happen without you, because naturally, it's something that I feel like, I feel like it's our impulse to want to do. And for that woman, a man, for yeah, that woman that you, exactly. he want to do that for his wife, not for every woman. Exactly. Same and so, me, I, I think that, my girl, if you expected, I don't think it's bad that if you expected that and you was disappointed at that, then, um, you got good reason to feel the way you feel, but sure. let and me now I wouldn't go forward like thinking everybody, every man is like that. No, if we're splitting the bills 50 50, like say, for instance, I'm going to get a new relationship tomorrow and we're splitting everything 50 50, I'm okay with that. And you're loving me right and you're doing all the right things, so, I'm okay with submissive. I but when, it, when it, if it's that, if it's a certain, if you're not, like you said, checking all the boxes. Then what am I submissive to? Like you're yeah. not being a leader. That's you're not even trying, you're not even being a look, partner. Look, look. I think um, I would tell all young guys that uh, in, in relations to this conversation, I wouldn't recommend that if you're not financially stable that you go try to try to do this with a woman. Like I did it, but I didn't have this information beforehand. In a lot of cases, when you're a man and you're making less than the woman that you're with, that's an easy, easy area to be emasculated at. I think it happens more that's often right. than not because once y'all bump heads... It hurts the ego. Yeah, exactly. Once right. y'all bump heads, your ego will be a very easy target. So I would I would tell young guys, hey, you want to be out here, you want to you wanna date, you want submission from her, get your money right. Because I wouldn't want him going in expecting 50-50 submission. But in my own mind... mind Hold on, because in my own mind, when I think about submission, I equate that with femininity. You gotta and spread almost, that blame, though, bro. Say that again. You gotta spread that blame a little bit, because I agree with everything you're saying. Mm -hmm. But a woman that will use that to emasculate you ain't the right woman. Yeah, I do think that even then, I do think that sometimes even the right woman. Even a woman that's been good to her man up to the point that he loses everything and can no longer be that breadwinner that she used to have. When things start getting when things start getting rough, I mean, there's a time where if, if she suddenly if she ain't had to work for a long period of time because she been taking she don't want to go have to work. You know what I'm saying? She's not gonna yeah, take I that nice. Don't throw that in your face though. No, but I'm talking about mostly for like the younger guys, guys that's in between like eighteen and twenty eight. Yeah. When you go get into these relationships is what I'm talking about. When you go get into them, if you if you want that woman to be submissive, if you want her to get on your program and do what you need what what you need to be successful and also partner up with you in that way, then you should get your money right and maybe come in closer to 60, 40 than 50, 50. Because if she feel like she benefits from having you around, you might be able to ask her for more things than you could That's if she felt like she was caring. It's she like might wash some clothes, she might wash some dishes because she feel like she, you carrying a load, and she feels like she's just doing her part at that point. At that's that a point, fact. she's trying to make it easy. But I, I was making the point also that I equate submission to femininity. I, I don't think they separate. I think women automatically will be to the right man. Exactly. But I also think the right man needs to have his bread right, and I don't think he got to create should. that. He got to create that that space for her to be. A safe space. space. He, he got to do the work, and the different yeah, women have work sure. to do when it comes to relationships. And uh, this ain't the time to speak on that, but I, I think as far as guys, when it comes to relationships, your work is get your money right, get your career, and get on your program. Let and that's what I think is. Since I'm the one that hate women too. I think it's also <laughs> they be on his ass. I think it's also a thing to be recognized that men should submit to their women. I Come think on. that submission just Come on, like me and y'all talking today. It's the Lord's I day. Think Come it's on. Just <laughs> So our submission to a woman doesn't look like a woman's submission to us, but I think that we both owe each other that in a, in a committed, uh, healthy relationship. It's from a different perspective. So it's like, like what you said, like you don't go into as a man a relationship expecting all these things from a woman, and you ain't got your stuff together. Right. And it, it don't, it don't absolutely have to just be about finances. Using my my example. Well, as, I was talking about it. I, I think it's very specifically finances. Young boys and young guys, when you get into these relationships, I do think money-wise, that needs to be on point because I do think it matters. It but definitely I, I matters. Like, I'm not dating nobody who don't buy, like, I'm not dating anybody that, like, no, at, my, at my big grown age, you got, your ambition has to match mine. I'm not dating anyone if you, you don't have the bare minimum. The bare minimum means you don't have your own place. place. You don't have your own car. You don't have your own food. food. You Like, if you calling me in, in our dating phase, mm -hmm. 
Like for any of the bare minimum that tells me like you can't provide for me and my man you provide for me. Okay, here you go. But, but, a woman is allowed to expect the same shit through the day stage? No, 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 no. For me to provide the bare necessities? No, I'm not, I'm not saying you're saying. I'm not no, saying you're talking that's about how the, uh, That's how the masses, that's how the general population of women look that uh, look at it when, a, when they are dating a man or when a man approaches them, he has to be able to provide her with the bare necessities. He has to feed her. He got to have enough money to, to pay a light bill. To pay all this shit that she should have to do uh, in order for a man to approach a woman has to be able to do that. I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying that. You have, right. to, you have to have that and start doing that for me right away while, while we're dating. But you I'm were saying, talking about if you being can't, financially yes, stable. If you can't do that for yourself, like for far as us getting past the dating stands and getting into a committed, serious relationship, I'm not going to want that from you because you can't even do that for yourself. Were well, you saying. going somewhere with that? Because I get what you said. Like, I also it, it's, it. like, it's vice versa. If you, if, if you come dating well, me I and I'm going to have my stuff with, together. I was just going with where society standard is. Yeah, oh, because yeah. I think most okay, women. I'm a different breed. I, I, I think most that. women would say the same thing you said about a man needing to be able to provide the bad necessities for himself. Mm-hmm. It's not I think most himself. women would say that. But I think there's a lot of women that would also say, hey, you need to be able to do this, 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 and this for me. This for and me. she's struggling to do that shit herself. Yeah. And That's if right. he can do it for himself but can't afford to do it for her, he an ain't shit nigga or a deadbeat nigga. You see how those standards are completely out.